for the Phantom Aces. And focus. What's the limit? Is today the limit? Would give them a little bit of time to prepare for the big travel coming up to Dubai. Where all of a sudden we got a $10,000 tournament for Warcraft 3 starting next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, announced less than a week before it, it's happening. And I was like, yeah, right, as if that's going to happen. But apparently it is. Uh, I'm going to be very interested to follow that as well. But now let's turn our attention towards these two wonderful gamers here in this lower bracket. Best of five. Because our first map is on. All right, for the Phantom Aces and for the Night Elves, bottom left-hand side is Lawlight with the cheeky smile on his face. Couldn't be, like, facial expression couldn't be any different between the two. <laughs> Focus looks like he's about to pass out. Yep. He's watching his YouTube video to fall asleep to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, a father of two, eh? This, uh, this can happen. It feels like Lawlight has something prepared. All right. What might that be? We'll find out soon. Hero here normally has to be the keeper, right? Yeah, Concealed Hill is still keeper territory in this matchup. And this is the map that has been figured out the most. My oh my, have we seen this map a lot, especially in this matchup. So normally all the tricks should be discoverable for focus, unless Lawlight has something really feisty. You always gotta wonder if Focus's camera is working or not. Now a little bit of hat movement, but uh, the first hat scratch, I took note by the way, uh, between the two, went to Lawlight, as always for a little bit of good luck. Keeper and Archer as a start, on the other side of course, Blade Master and Grunts. Young Pole not really gonna work out here. The creep cam's gonna be finished quickly by Lawlight. And Focus doesn't sacrifice the peon right away. Oh, thank you, Focus. I appreciate that a lot. Didn't do too much, as you said. First camps, or first creeps down, and also Focus a little bit of a slower early game here. Putting a toe in the water. Checking the temperature. Gets a ring immediately. Both are. It's kind of... Fine. I was a little scared that he sells it. Against Acid Bomb, a wonderful counter. And in general, this matchup relies a lot on physical damage, so sweet to have. And the Peon Scout. This is why I love to see the Peon Scout alive. Knows where the Keeper is and the Blade can pop the Speed Scroll if he wishes. Ooh, this is a big moment. Can he be in time to steal the last hit? Actually, it's not really close at all, right? The turtle <laughs> no. goes down. He's a few seconds late. Yeah, I was surprised here as well. Can't prevent level 2. This is next to Treants, of course, also Entangle. At least one kill. This was Focus's big strength in his match against Lin. S arriving at the right time and stealing a lot. In the end, a clear 0-3 though, as in the bigger fights he had not much of a chance. Lawlight on the other side has probably provided one of the most exciting series all tournament against Fortitude, where he was an inch away from making it into the winner bracket, but no. Even saves an archer into Shadow Melt on the left hand side. Very careful play now. And now leveling is on for the keeper. You want to get level 3 if you can. Focus is going to be charged with trying to prevent that. And of course, Focus also diligently scouting around the main base. We've all seen Lawlight play plenty of APs before. Oh, but a grunt is getting caught. Could perhaps be a kill attempt here by Lawlight? Uh, but there's no hunts here yet. I guess he can't really go for the kill. He's trying to get another creep. All right, with Treans there, summoning two. Blade Master back again with the circlet. Doesn't see him coming. Well, this close. And Focus is once again there and gets his own level two and the slippers. Yeah, that is so good for him. Now we got mirror image as well. Lots of mana on the Blade Master to use that for scouting. Slippers are amazing. This is a wonderful start for Focus. Again, cheeky smiles by Lawlight. Is that a little bit of Galar's humor already? Didn't work out as planned. He's still shocking around the north, though. I really like the Focus taking the green here, at least the crab for the tome. Because uh, he knows Lola is over there taking the other green. And if he gets another one and another green, then that's level 3. So taking a bit away here himself 
quite nice. And this keeper is not gonna get level three too soon. That's indeed a problem as well as the inventory of a blade tier 2 done. Shadow Hunter out. Lots of creep spots uh, left to go to. But Lolite and punching distance, at least on the left hand side. But yeah, no mass and no expo. This has to be Dryads then. Or one base tier 3 into marksmanship. It's also a possibility. No, but I think Lolite. Doesn't like the game state, and I don't blame him. Look at the Blade Master here, he's just chopping away. Oh, but you're right, it's Lores, but still tier 3. Oh. Hunts into Lores tier 3. This sounds pretty slow, I gotta say. Second hero not revealed yet. Now he is. Alchemist. Uh, okay. okay. A bit surprising. But maybe something focus isn't expecting either. Interesting base build as well, right? With the three moon worlds there. So now it's gonna be time to level for the second heroes. Right now, Lola is pretty strong before Purge is ready. It is becoming ready soon, and that's where the Shaman are very helpful. But, Shaman, late game against bears, not what you want, really. I think Focus needs to scout the bear tech, and then they need to make a transition, perhaps. That would be quite expensive, would take some momentum away. A very tactical game so far. It's not. Instant res, AP pushes, etc. etc. We are gearing up for the late game where oftentimes Blade Master Shadowhunter is just outscaling the enemy army over Keeper and Alchemist. But with bears, that might change. Yeah, Focus has two options. Uh, either go for level 3 and then a push timing with the Shadowhunter, or you could just expand. The walkers are the better units you want to have, but if uh, you just have simply more, thanks to an expansion, walkers might not be needed against bears. This little Ogre Lord pull here, it's gonna be a big item. Oh, this could be quite important. Oh, Cat Guts Pipe, let's go, baby. Well, that is a lot of Purge, that's a lot of Serpent Wards, first and foremost. Nice addition. Lolite on the other side, same supply. Going up for the consumable. Blade Master hangs around, but I would be very surprised if he's in time. The Remix Scouting here has been looking really good. Fog is always aware of what's going on and certainly knows about the players now. We don't see his answer yet. He's got a lot of gold. He's gonna expand in the middle. That would be some baller play. <laughs> Kinda doubt that. We see a war mill for some upgrades now. And this is all still the calm before the storm. Nobody is really ready yet, waiting for level 3 on the tier 2 hero. Both playing one base, can't afford too many losses. As they're moving into quite expensive units in Bears and Kodos. Alright, we haven't had a big fight yet. It seems like one is brewing though. As the heroes are still trying to get their levels, Shadow Hunter 3 is going to be big. Same for the Alchemist. He's putting the orb on the Alchemist. I guess with Chemical Rage, that makes him a much better orb carrier. Hmm. Does it though? I mean, he reapplies the effect faster, but they can't really spread it that well. Almost nobody spreads the orb nowadays. I think it's more mainly about getting the hits in quickly. Big item for him. Flute of accuracy, not what he wanted. Shadow Hunter though has great items. Oh, give me a Soviet mask, baby. Sobi on the shadow, infinite mana. Yo, that's gonna be insane. The creeping is so fast with the piercing damage here. Yeah? Love to see it. Needs an advance there. And Focus is the one to expand. That is a liability. A lot of resources sunk into that second base. And Lawlight is pouncing on the main. 
Quite the last boots. Oh my god. Insane items for focus. But right now, in a little bit of danger, Knight of Push into the main. We have Roar on the entire army. Lots of damage on these units. Focus at 53 supply. Oh, but the Burrows. Not upgraded yet. Does it matter that much against bears? Not too sure. Against the piercing damage, it certainly does. First one down. Blade Master here. Boots of Kelpala still on the Shadow Hunter. Very decisive fight. If Law Light does a lot of damage here, it can definitely work against that Expo too. But if Focus survives without too many losses, then this game might be going his way. It is still very, very even, but Focus can't rebuild and he's stuck at 53. <laughs> Focus not running to the shop. He's expecting perhaps there to be caught by the opponent. Kind of surprising. This should be the time to give over the Quelthalas boots. The Blade Master then would be looking very, very strong. The damage output is surreal. Can you stop this Blade Master from cutting everything into pieces? The level 4 is so massive on both sides. Oh, but the timing. Lawlight's timing is superb. Sick. There was a lot of time going into No Man's Land. Focus stack at 52 supply, not what you want normally. But he's got crazy good heroes. Bro, please give over the crowd for us. How is he not realizing this? Uh, questionable indeed. Double heal scroll available. Ultra vision coming. And focus is using now. so many resources. Blade has the nice booties. Just sold something. Did you see what he sold? No. Oh, no I going for the next base attack. Focus though, smartly. Oh, the peon scout here. That's huge. That's protects, that protects the burrows right now. There's no reinforced yet. And Lolite now building a big bank. We're used to seeing this from him. Also a Knight of Mara. Spending it now, though. Wants to end the game quickly before the Orc heroes reach a status close to level 5 when they take over. Until you get the ultimates on level 6 for the Night of, then it's debatable, I guess. Focus. Looking strong here. Shadow level 4, super powerful. Blade also close to 4. Lawlight. Waiting for reinforcements. Might not be a bad idea here to TP. Going for the Shadow Hunter, there's no way he's gonna kill him though. I don't think so. With the heal wave, with the heal scrolls, a little bit of wasted damage maybe. Kodo marching forward, doesn't get the devour. Oh, second try, he got it. And another one. Lolite's army is disappearing quickly. Why is he fighting here? Lolite has so much gold to spend. He could have TP'd out, built a way bigger army. Oh, this looks like a big mistake. Now he's TPing out. That's half a minute late. That is also a slaughter and feeding the XP bar of focus. Level 2 critical strike with a blade master like this. 0.4 away from level 5 with Serpent Ward seal waves like this. Focus is all of a sudden in a tremendous spot. Yeah, that was a big tactical mistake by Lawlight. He was uh, getting nicely ahead economically. He was in no upkeep for a long time. He bought time really well across the map. But then engaging into the fight here, definitely the wrong call. All I pays the price for it. And focus now. What's the way out for Lolite? It's getting rougher and rougher by the minute. Not scaling too well. Level 4, almost meaningless for him. And focus with the base attack. Full moon welts about to be destroyed. That's one. Oh boy, and the bears being caught. GNL bears has to flood in some whist to get rid of the mana. But the fighting position is so hard to do with the Ancient of War up front. Alchemist almost level 4, but that's not considered that big of a level up, really. Oh. 
Focus has the expansion coming up again, and this time he should be in a position to contain Lawlight, maybe? But there's still a punch left in Lawlight. He's again building a big gold bank, uh, and if he's patient enough, he might be able to spend it all in a little bit and get to perhaps 70 supply or so. <laughs> that Wisp not getting attacked, like it. Focus's expansion still takes a minute and a half. Will allow it spend it in time. He also got good lumber, working on some upgrades. Love the defense upgrade. You need it against this physical damage. Time here on focus aside. Law Light will have to go all in very soon. Focus now can get everything ready for the attack that he knows must arrive at some point. He's building the army, of course, but he's also close to his shop. He could go for perhaps even more heal scrolls. Two heal scrolls already? Focus seems to be set up so well. No towers or shop just yet. Could be falling once the peon is free. What's the knockout punch? It has to go towards the expo, I feel. Slight chance for like Zeppelin attacks, but it's also hard to do against so many raiders. Gotta solve that puzzle, Lawlight. He's going for an Ancient of Wind. Probably trying to go for fairies? Man, that's gonna take forever. Yeah. Lawlight, a little sight there. Doesn't really know what to do either. Clock is ticking. Economy advantage with focus. Level lead with focus. Supply lead with focus. But we're breaking up. Keep now. Focus eyeing up the situation, trying to consider if it might even be wiser to attack now already. Bought a TP. Ooh, if he maneuvers his uh, main army to the right-hand side of the map, he can always threaten a counterattack. That would be yeah. smart. But so far he's keeping it rather defensively positioned. Zero two upgrade for focus as well. Mentioned this a lot, all about physical damage. It is a fairy dragon addition. Against casters, really nice. But focus keeps them contained so well, man. This is some great orc play. Yeah. It's a big armies now on both sides. When the fight breaks out, we should expect lots of units to go down for both. And that means Shadow level 5 should be around the corner. Re engaging now. How do you squeeze the bears through these two needle holes without being attacked immediately? Snake pit open up. Fairy dragon forgotten about for a couple of seconds. Here we go. Needs to be deployed. This blade master is melting. The blade master is melting. Oh, focus triggering. It's in a fly, at least to a degree. Bear about to fall here. Blade master back in the middle of it all. Hunt still part of this. The Kodo it has not devoured just yet. Needs to march forward. Damage up time is good, but focus so far smashing this fight. All the attention on the blade did not end up on the units. That's level five and level three heal wave. Yeah, I'm waiting for the first heal wave to come in. Oh, there it is. Look at all that glorious healing. Two heal scrolls were used already. There's still a TP on focus if he really needs to get out. But he seems to be owning this fight right here. Supplies are pretty even though. Blade Master hurt. Lawlight actually holding his own pretty well. Going for the keeper now though. And that might not Ooh. be the any saving him. How can he save him? Doesn't work, I guess. Staff, maybe it's on him. Wait, what? Oh, the Chakram killed him last second. Bears falling as well. Huge loss on the alchemist. Uh, on the on the on the keeper. Everything low for focus, needs a lot of heal stuffs, but he can of course afford it. Lolai at 15 food down. Yeah, nice play by focus. I gotta say, I didn't expect Lolai to be so close here in the fight, but focus just barely had enough, but it took a lot, right? Took the double heal scroll, took the double level fives, and still lots of stuff went down. Lolai, only one thing can save him now, and that's ultimates. Thank you, Flowboy Yori, for the 10 month. Misclicked, wanted to sub to Grubby. Well, sorry about that, can't refund. Level 5 Alchemist with Chemical Rage. But these levels, as we said, are not the yellow of the egg. Kodo's hungry again, there we go, that's one devour. 
Blade Mash in the front line doing some good damage here. 232 crits. Although that was only an illusion. But the blade can also do it himself. Shadow Hunter getting focused hard now. Maybe oh. a hero kill opportunity. Oh. There's also a little bit of fairy splash. Attacks one more time. Alchemist is packing quite a punch, but on the flip side, two bears about to fall backstep into crit. Shadow Hunter down as well. Things are getting really weird here. Level six on the blade. He's duking it out against an alchemist now. Who got the better oh. damage? The grunts are coming oh. in. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, level six. What? Purge. No way. Transmute used to kill a grunt. Nobody has heroes anymore. <laughs> All right. Transmute, one hell of an ultimate. But Lolite has only 38 supply left. Blade Master now coming back from the tavern. Oh, we have yet to see a Blade Storm. Also, ah, uh, not uh, this game, I'm afraid. That was a fun firework ending. But focus with a really good game. Amazing early, especially. Lawlight with that base attack, the Burrow kills, came kind of back into the game, also by casting the expansion. But man, why didn't he TP? Why yeah. didn't he TP? That bear army is not good at 50 supply. Reason being, you get two bears devoured, what are you left with? Not much. That's right. Oh man, that was the oversight for sure. Getting a little greedy here, a little bit too confident. But nice exchanges, nice, nice fights between the two. Both are bringing their A game. A little bit of decision making missing. Cuber, thank you for the 41 month sub. Didn't know you still exist. Welcome back. Yo, Cuber. Seriously, we haven't heard from you in like months. Yeah. <laughs> we were I worried. You're still, uh, you're still among the living. Seems like you are. That's good. <laughs> Maybe he's coming from the dead. Subbing from the dead. Just an like, auto like renew. The ghost. Ooh, there's no sub message, so I don't know. Maybe it's just an auto renew. Well, well, well. Cuba coming back at the perfect time. Of course, here the weekend is heating up, guys. We are going to get a new champion of the uh, TPL season finals. We've been... We're on the 10th day, I think. Wait, no, it's even more than that. It's the 12th day oh. of TPL here running. We had the group stage, the ascension phase, and now we are starting to kick out players in our playoffs. Fly already out. Lolai two maps away from being eliminated. Here we go. His map, Turtle Rock. We're spawning on the same lane. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. Yeah, this is Lolai's map pick. Turtle Rock. Mm -hmm. Very unusual, especially back in the day. Much more of a um, map for orcs. Now, it is absolutely terrible, in fact, unplayable for Keeper Hunt expansion. So it has to be either bears or talons, I guess. Or, which is more of a foggy moon special, a secret AP thingy and then walk into the base. That will be a cheeky play. Mm -hmm. Lawlight though going with the Demon Hunter first. Demon Hunter normally means uh, no more lames. Unlike the <laughs> Keeper. I think he's going to go Demon Bears here. That's my prediction. And that on a rock. Lots to creep, of course. Lots of consumables in the middle. Also, lots to pimp for the Blade Master. Heroes are going to be strong once again. Forward shot by focus. And the peon scout. Could delay this creep a good little while with the pull trick, the repair trick. No archer for Lawlight, by the way, skipping that. Ooh. Okay. Mm, well, I thought with the demon hunter, there is no chance for this AP push. Now with hunts on the menu. Maybe it works still. Hard to call, man. I have no idea what's going on in Lola. It's had this series. Sometimes it feels quite annoying for the Night Elves that they can always get pulled, but since their Wisps uh, can't really attack their own buildings early, they can't do the repair trick. Oh. Funny enough. Oh, 
Poor night off, man. Oh, the wisp usage there, though. That was sick. Lawlight with the scouting wisp, pulling the creeps and disabling the blade from creeping the magi here. Damn. Oh, can he come in with the last hit? No, just a hair oh. too late. Reveal would be so good, but he doesn't have it. Ooh. Ooh. That was a little bit of a heart attack moment. And so far, Lolayet's game is coming together with Hans in tier 2. Not that far behind. Oh, Nuhiro Masuda gifting this up to Muddy Matbot. Thank you very much for the two year resub. Hope you're doing fine. Got a message this morning also from Nahiro. Congratulating me on my birthday. Thank you, Nahiro. Level 2 for the blade already. This looks like a great start for focus once again. What's the plan still? Double ring of superiority, not the craziest of items. Focus. Yeah, right? This is looking a little odd. Here's an AP. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. All right here with a bit of trickery once again. It's only one, though. Coltain with the resub. My dude. Good luck in Kreisliga. Yeah. And uh, an AP is normally only really scary when there's also a keeper with Entangle to, like, you know, pin down grunts and stuff. I think That's this is like, just... not expecting it. It's just a distraction. I think. Could distract the Shadow Hunter, of course, for a solid minute. And that's them buying some. I think Lolayet is surprised that this is working this well. What's he distracting from, I wonder? Just like tier 3 tech? Well, it keeps the Shadow Hunter busy, which is always a good thing. Oh, the blade almost in time for the steal. That would have been sick. Yeah, focus is timing so this was playoffs with the blade. Are extraordinary, but no scout for this. And the base is wide open. Good morning, focus. Oh, he still didn't see it. Now, oh, Beastury <laughs> spots the AP finally. But yeah, this AP is going to be very annoying indeed. Fire Lord second. All right. What? Let's go, baby. What? Uh, Ultra Giga Olin, I guess is what the strat is called. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> is he losing? <laughs> is he losing faith? In with it, wait, that's an ultra giga all in, according to you, with a tier three tech behind. Okay, cool. So it is supposed to buy time for tier three in the end. We do have an early warmer, by the way, but no reinforced defense is coming. So it looks like Focus feels like he can easily deal with his AP even without reinforced. My guys are strong, by the way. <laughs> Get some good items. Yo, and the Shadow Hunter is out. Can go for a shop trip now. We go Hex first. Two lava spawns already. Grunts are having a little bit of a problem here. Dude, I am befuddled of the strategy. Oh, focus fire on the demon. There was a TP what? and the staff what? was ready. What? Lawlight, what's that? Again and again and again for Lawlight in the past couple of weeks. His heroes are getting killed too easily. Okay, got a grunt kill at least. But the shop's still there. That's where Focus can heal now. I love the Torrent Totem as well. Getting ready for the counter to the bears. The burrow might just hold. Hex comes into play as well. Lava spawn damage might not be enough. And Lolite's in big trouble here. Okay, AP prevented. Tier 3 tech almost done, but loss only now. Demon Hunter obviously stopped on level 2. Takes forever to get him back. And Focus with a cl pretty clean hold here. Again, playing this too much on the edge, Lolite. Hero loss. This is extremely 
extremely painful. And now the Shadow Hunter can freely creep up. Of course, the Hex is going to fall off later, but boy, did it work out well. Big Master checking the main, confirming that it is indeed Bears. And the Demon Hunter only coming back now. It did prevent the Shadow Hunter from creeping, of course, but if you donate a hero away, that is XP that creeping usually would give you. Shop also wasn't cancelled, really. So, heal selves are running alongside Spirit Link. And what's like, how is the Fire Lord scaling into the late game? Keeper third. He's gonna have three amazing orb carries. Maybe that's the saving grace for Lawlight. Yeah, triple orb is gonna be sick. But it's also, also very expensive. Aura, maybe at some point. Takes a long time, though, to come online. And this again invites focus to an expansion, I would say. Onto a rock. Okay. I love that we see Soulburn. Incinerate is not as good as an orb would be. And that can prevent heal waves. Yeah, true. true. And if it so doesn't. Finds a good spot to use it. Prevent heal wave. It forces a big dispel. And you know, walkers are pretty good units. But they don't have that many dispels. We we'll love to see Shadowhunter here creep the red camp spawning position and then expand for focus. Uh, he's more in the center of the map right now. We'll also go for the turtles here, get the big consumables. Lawlight, of course, has to play very, very passively now. He's yeah. creeping on his side of the map, far away from everything else. He knows he's not strong still for quite a while. Sick items on the Demon Hunter. Gets a little bit of extra evasion for one of the other heroes as well. First orb up, Ancient of War down. Prevents creeping for a little bit. Ancient Django for focus, who's going for more consumables, not the red spot. We're staying on the left hand side lane. Its goals here are going to be very important as well. Focus picks up the first, but there should be a second one available in the shop as well. Shadowhunter got the level three and the big mana. This might be the time to fight right away. Ooh, that's sick. Also, a creep jack with the Blade Master scouting the entire time. Only a handful of bears. That's it. No wisps to flood with 50 food. It's gotta be the triple orb. Okay, here we go with soul burn, but Hex to focus this immediately. Plus, of course, a myriad of heal waves. Yeah, very good Hex against the Demon Hunter that limits the damage a ton. And three bears. Seems like it's not good enough just yet. Kodo comes in, gets up the Devour before the Rejuve, I think. Focus smashing his Ooh, Hex, focus fire, and everything's lacking here. Lawliot not ready at all. And the demon dies for the second fight. I gotta say, Lawliot looks oh very deflated in this series now. Get the item steal as well from the big turtle. Big heal potion, hell yeah. Expanding as well, and why wouldn't he? This game is... That was a hassle. Yeah, the entire series, to be honest. Overextending three times now, leading to big kills and focus. Focus isn't, I think, playing extraordinary well. He's playing more than solid, but it's not that I'm in awe as we were when, like, Lin was playing against Lawlight, where he just crushed him. He's invited to getting an advantage. I certainly agree. Lawlight has been look, looking a bit sloppy here, unfortunately. So far today, there's still a way to turn this series around. We're so happy, for example, two days ago, come back from a 0-2 deficit. And, uh, well, that seems like we are heading in exactly that direction. Lawlight has one chance, perhaps, still left. 60 supply or 70 supply push, maybe. But Focus is going to get ready for that. <sighs> Expo also at 50% done. Just another mana potion. This time, level four, not the biggest deal. <laughs> Hex on a wisp. Before it gets denied, why not? Or uh, detonated, why not? Lolite has good vision thanks to the bear and the Kodo. That's gonna give the shell on a level four, by the way. We have abolished magic, but we have no dryads. Hex is actually super strong here. Yeah. 
Okay. Wild ride. Only bears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. No dispel. He's pulling a couple of wisps, I think, which she absolutely needs against Spirit Link. A big army. 61 supply. Expo about to start mining. Focus getting further and further ahead. Lawlight has one chance, and that is to smash that next fight. But for that, he needs focus to fumble. Third orb is not yet available. It's still on cooldown for a little bit. But man, focus has gotten so strong. All right, here we go. Big fight breaks out. One bear caught with the ensnare right away. The magic damage focus fire is looking insane. The orbs yeah. of venom have to put in all the damage. Okay, we have a heal scroll, and of course the damage is all evenly distributed and focused aside. The devourers are coming in. Way too easy to counter these expensive bears for now. A little bit of retreat. Orb of Venom over and over and over, but the end snares are in. The focus fire is in. The Shadow Hunter still has. Yup, that scroll of the beast. Here we go. Double level ups for Lawlight with Soul Burn level 2. It's also great damage mitigation, mind you. So the Blade Master is not laying in the damage he usually would. But still, Riju here. Mana is quite deflated on focus, and he's not that comfortable anymore. As Dryad's coming in, but just, okay, resetting a little bit. And of course, relying on his expansion. Yeah, Philo, good right clicker, but his spells here have been doing hardly anything. A little bit of damage reduction on the blade, maybe, but especially Lava Spawn in the late game against AoE, the spell from Walkers. Not doing a thing. Going for the blade now, dropping low, but he's got the potion for it. We can see the Orb of Venom has potential, but the bears are just not contributing. Yeah. That Shadow Hunter is again putting in a lot of value with the Hex and Heal Waves. Now, no consumables anymore. Mana is low, focus retreating. But he established a huge supply gap. And one Kodo is even still munching. Going for the blade again. Oh, he's trying to drop low. But there is one more heal wave. d also never got in range for mana burn on the shadow on him, right? Yeah. He not even punched this whole game. Oh, is this a little bit of a fumbly bumbly here? Focus getting this army way too close to the tri-hero. And if you're not careful, lots of units yeah. can die in no time thanks to the Orb of Venom. A little bit of hope for Lawlight. A great game by Focus. Now we see the first real mistake. He didn't make a shot at the expansion. Definitely should have made one. But he still got to the one in the main base. That one wasn't too far away. Shadow Hunter with a mana potion. He was rattling through. The walkers might not be able to re-morph right now. Might be on cooldown. Okay, then that's a little bit of damage missing. Bear falling. Soul burn reapplied. Always on the Blade Master. A little bit of a blocking here with the Ethereal form. Mana burn for the kill. Gets a revenge. Shadow Hunter 5. Huge healing now, of course, but the first time he's silenced. And now the mana burn as well, but just a hair too late. Demon is still fighting this pretty well. This is all before Orb of Venom, by the way. Perhaps he can still get one. Supply is sort of even. But Hex. Focus has the expansion to work with. He needs to save this Shadow Hunter. Uh, Shadow Hunter, this Fire Lord, somehow. Huge part of the damage. And Focus again. Engaging with only the army. Is that the right call against the Tri Hero? Another bear goes down, more experience also. experience also for the blade, getting closer to five. Everything's hurt for Lawlight, he needs healing bad. No TP though, he can't get out. Demon Hunter, staff, but is that just the beginning of the end? The horde is running with orange HP bars, okay, but they are running. Fire Lord down, no more soul burn, no more right click, and he needs to get this kill. Oh, it doesn't Demon Hunter just escaping barely thanks to Riju. All that damage on the heroes. Fire Lord back from the tavern. But how do you deal with that orc army if there's infinite gold almost? Wait a minute. Three kills now. Going oh. Lola its way. Lots of leveling. Wild brawls. So many kills everywhere, dude. Pretty sick. But of course, Focus has way more resources to rebuild with. Demon Hunter somehow didn't die this game, not yet. Close to level 4. So is the Fire Lord, sort of. But the blade's about to clock in level 5. Yep. And then crit level 3. 
And then the damage mitigation doesn't do too much anymore. Keeper needs to be back, but it's in a minute. Is the saving moment for Lawlight when the mains are dry and he can just walk over? Yeah, if he gets back to one base, one base, this could indeed be playable. But we got a long way to go until then. Focus still. Mining like crazy. Back to 60 supply so fast. Shadowhunter mana now looking good. Demon needs to be able to burn the shadow. Yeah, I agree. That was very impactful the one time. Also on Focus's side, uh, I really, really love that he's maneuvering towards the shop. With the Spirit Link constantly available, Heal Scroll goes a long way. I think he only had one in that recent engagement. Of course, he has to rebuild army now as well. But Heal Scrolls are absolute key in these fights. Demon Hunter level 4. And he got the orb finally. We have the triple orb online at long last. Insane damage output. Damage isn't the concern though for Lawlight. The question is if his whole army just dies. Too yeah. Fast. Level 2 evasion. Okay, we got that one. Focus is not pushing, rather poking and scouting. That gives Lawlight a little bit of time here. Triple orb online. But everything is so fragile. Lawlight moving towards the expansion, threatening the peons, gonna force Focus to respond. It's pretty close by. Doesn't take him long to get home. <sighs> Peons save thanks to Spirit Link. 5-5 five, five on the Shadow Hunter. No more mana on the blade. Positioning this one without Windwalk might be hard. Level 2 Thorns Aura would be a great upgrade, but needs a kill for that. That kill might not be so easy to get. Going for the Raider right away. Demon Hunter also being focused heavily. Blade Master has found his target. And it's the enemy first hero. And the bears are just going down so fast. The Kodos come in. Yeah. This is just too much stuff. Yeah, I guess so. There was a lot of misses against the crits. But Demon Hunter is out of that fight now. Can't be burnt. Needs to TP. Keeper got level 3. But oh, he finds himself uh, forward. It is Thorns 2 now. On the cost of that town portal. Focus 70 food and two bases. Could afford another heal scroll as well. He's close to the shop already. Get some mana in. And the next push should finish the game. Focus played a really good game here. Almost a flawless one, I guess you could say. With Lawlight rather fumbling a bit. Focus trying to close it out now as the mains are about to run out. <sighs> He is in a wonderful position. Expanding again on the left-hand side. Then what? How do you salvage this? Usually the light is the one expanding all over Turtle Rock. In this game, he had no resources for this. The mid-game just fell apart after the hero kill. Get the battle bongos for a little bit more damage, but... No real chance. And now base attacks to distract, establishing the bottom left-hand side. Focus with all the patience in the world. Last-ditch effort for Lawlight. His base is quickly being ripped apart. Has to TP. Where's it gonna be? Behind the Moonwells. Yeah. Cautious. Very cautious. Doesn't want anything exposed to the Kodos, I imagine. We got Summon Harass with the Lava Spawn if they split. This could start a Lava Fall, I guess. All the Wisp pulled. All right. Flood him. Get rid of all the Spirit Link and Dispel and try to own this. A million misses against the Demon Hunter, but no consumables at all. Tri Hero Focus is working quite fine. No Soul Burns at the moment. 200 crit coming in and Snare. Still a Staff ready. Demon saved again. Really good save plays on the Demon Hunter this whole game. Except for that one loss, of course. But the bears. The bears just keep getting destroyed all the time. Huge heal scroll there. Orc army. Too big. Unbeatable now. 
It seems. Or is there really a way for these heroes to do it? I don't know, man. Here we go. Again, Soulburn dispelled pretty much immediately. The crits are rising once again. And so is the Horde. If the Demon Hunter falls or any hero falls, it's certainly over. And Focus knows. Blade Master, okay, well controlled. But there's still a lot of magic damage. There's still instant devour against the bears. Stutter stepping is all right, but there's also a heal ward. There's also a healed scroll. The hero focus just doesn't work. Lava spawn. Lava spawn. Taking out the expansion, I guess. They split thanks to the peon kills. There was a nice play. Stemming against the defeat is Lawline. Again a soul burn. Right click. Hold on. No is he stuck no there? Way. Oh, get him. Can the demon have to survive somehow? Close to level five without the blade. Is there a chance? He's throwing everything at this Fire Lord. Staff's on him. Shadow Hunter, level six. Fire Lord falls. One orb oh. down. Oh my god. Can he reach for an entangle? I don't... Oh, Demon Hunter surrounded as well. Might be able to fight out. The chase is off. The staff on the keeper needs to get it on the Demon Hunter. Otherwise, there's no way out. And he's safe. Oh my you god, dude. The god. staff plays the saves on the Demon Hunter. Absolutely insane this game. Lawlight almost found a way to do it. But Focus is still mining like crazy. And at some point... Lawlight's gonna run out of healing. I yeah. guess that time is now. It is daytime. Moon Juice is not regenerating. He has no resources anymore. 14 food and a big ish orc army. The Blade Master might be dead, but the Shadow Hunter is still there. Diving deep now, getting greeted with the Hex, getting greeted with the Focus Fire. Another staff, alright, but how to heal? There's no chance. Those triple orbs, though, dude. Those triple orbs didn't look bad at all. Lawlight with 14 supply. That's 10 supply now. Yep. And Heroes, that's it. Five of these 10 supplies have 90 HP. The other one, I don't know, 125 or something. Desperate. Just desperate. Yeah, I think Lawlight doesn't even know about the second expansion. If he did, he would realize this is even more over than he thinks. Yeah. This time, there's no metamorph possible. What's <laughs> another sixes today? Shadow Hunter, of course, didn't go for the ult. His being one of the very worst in the game. And Lolite realizes that this is not his. Oh, heads going down quickly. Focus. 2 and 0. Oh. The tri hero didn't work. And again, the crucial moment. Hero kill in the mid game. It looked so nice with the AP, with the distraction. The Shadow Hunter being low leveled and stopped from creeping. And then the staff pass didn't fall. And the high wire artist falls. And he was never able to come back from that. Yeah, Lawlight today a little on the shaky side, unfortunately, which is a shame because in many of these situations, especially very late game, all of a sudden he looks really good. But things are going wrong early. Things are going wrong in the mid game. Lawlight needs to iron out these plays. Map number three, his map choice again, Tight Hunters. Normally considered a really, really, really strong map for Keeper Hunt's expansion. Seems like Lawlight is moving away from that strat a little bit. But on this map, it might be the time to bust it out again. <sighs> Three maps in a row. Is that possible versus focus? Lin did it. But different matchups, of course. Ay, yay, 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 yay. In case you haven't seen it, by the way, as we are on match points here on Saturday, we're doing this. We're streaming Stormgate to. Show matches, Ark versus Lix, Seiso versus Seron, and I'm also playing the co-op mission with Dark and Phalo right after the TP League games. So of course we're not replacing Warcraft with anything, it's just a little cherry on top. Gonna be really cool. Battle of the Bros, Seiso and Seron, we've seen them before, Dreamhack days. They were a staple in the Oceania region. So talented, my lord. They are. And then also nice people. What can I say? Same goes for Focus and Lawlight, of course. A little bit of a break for them, as it seems. 
I feel like the biggest problem for Lawlight is not the matchup or his um, strategies. Now it's the mental game. Judging from the player cam, he looks a bit broken. Yeah, when things turn south and aren't going his way, Lolai had known to sometimes struggle with getting back up on the horse. Can he bounce back now in the difficult position here? How strong is his mental fortitude? Focus with the opportunity, close it out and get a bit of a confidence booster again. Yeah. 3-0 after a 0-3 would be medicine for the soul for him. That is exactly what he needs. And what strategy to play now? Keeper mass hunts, demon hunter dryads, bears again. You mentioned it, man. These bears. When the Kodos aren't controlled or cannot be controlled, it's just too easy. And Focus is, of course, doing a very, very fine job in always having the Kodos in position. Sometimes the first devour isn't working, but the second one always is. And then it's four supply gone, roar, reju. Just too much. Match points. Lolight about to be eliminated. Not his year yet. Voiced a bit of frustration towards the matchup and the state on Night Elf. And yeah, again, player cam. <laughs> Says it all. Oh my. Lolight trying to refocus here on map number three. Like I said, it might be a really good map for him. Keeper Hunt's expansion is extremely strong on this map. Keeper creeping, very good, because lots of easy creep camps to take, lots of medium armor as well in some spots, and a very easy natural. I would expect a pivot now back to the keeper. I guess so. A little bit of a shake-up. I'm worried a bit about the lips of Lawlight. <laughs> He's biting them the entire series, poor guy. Blade Master for focus, of course. He doesn't have to change anything really he was pressured but he always dealt with it not making big mistakes if he made mistakes it was a small slip that was fixed pretty much immediately it's all down to law light how this game is gonna end we got a keeper and that breeds hope yeah folks gonna have a tough task on his hand to control the keeper and slow down the night of expansion and get creeping in himself and counter expand probably at some point. Really not easy to manage on this map specifically. Used to be vetoed a lot in the past, but focus here left it in the pool. Peon scout still alive. Remus a happy man. Hunts are coming. He got that confirmed, so it's no one base tier three mass archer shenanigans. Didn't even hide or anything. Just straight up regular builds. Not gonna go for the creep. Using the peon to get information, he's gonna go for the circlet right away. Not making use of his shop just yet. Look at that peon scout. How much time he's buying! Oh, isn't that peon scout just wonderful? Oh, I was also denied to the creep, so keeper doesn't even get level 2 from this. And solid items on the Blade Master already. Same can be said about the Keeper. It's waiting for the hunts to unfold. Is it again time for a sneaky AP? We got a Wisp in position on the lap, but focus also with the shop there. Should be seeing it at all times. Oh, Blade trying to steal this item here. Oh, the Peon Corpse. Now the Murloc is healing. That's a bit annoying. Focus gets it again. And his slippers again. Similar to how the situation was on Concealed. Gotta, gotta respect Focus for his Blade Master timings, man. This is outstanding. Yeah, looking really good. But now the Blade had to run on home <laughs> and heal up. And Lawlight now has a lot of freedom for the Keeper. How's he gonna use it? He's gonna go to the middle, pick up maybe a staff. But taking a moment still to creep. Still a tier 2 play. Still a one base play. Focus charging up, working on that crit and maybe even mirror image. Yeah, 
create the natural now. There we go. This is the big advantage for Night of on this map. You can create this natural so easy. One Huntress, one Archer, that's enough. Along with a few Treants. And there we go. Expansion coming on the spot. If this one finishes, this would be an amazing expo time. If focus can't kill it. Double claw is extraordinary for the keeper. But Blade is already here. A little bit of a statement here. I know what you're doing. I know how to counter this. Good luck unfolding your strategy. The mirror image comes into play. Gets out of the entangle right away. He's almost got a second. Oh. Blade Master mana drained? Can he try to go for a kill here maybe? Not with the tele staff. It seems unlikely. It is so rare to see a match between focus and law life being this one sided. Yep. It's always around 50 50. But here today, focus focus is just it's just better. Today is not Law Lies Day. Not yet, anyways. Is their way back into the game? Maybe. Once the expansion is up. Expo yeah. is coming again. And the keeper getting across the map. Alright. Some entangled kills now is what Law Light needs. Bro, this second pair of slippers for the Shadow Hunter. He needs a win. Just for momentum. Just for his mental game. Uh Burrow. Uh Grunt. Uh kill tier two building. Just anything. Yeah, keeper three. Level two treants are really strong right now. Did he skill them? Not yet. Burrows are actually a very good defensive setup. He's still considering which skill to go for. And the blade's picking up so many items everywhere on the map. Gonna get the big consumable here, scroll the beast. Not really what he wanted, but he's gonna take it. Feels like a very hesitant play by Lolite. Yeah, a reaction forced again. Blade Master is there. He's going in with Alchemist Aggression. We've seen that a bit in the past, and now the decision is clear. It is Entangle 2. He wants to take out these grunts when the Shadow Hunter is stuck in his own base. They're gonna get the cancel. Very well done. He's gonna have to staff home soon, I would think. And all of a sudden, grunts are falling. Lawlight finding something here. But he has to give up his game plan. This expansion cancelled twice. Doesn't work. So tier 3 it is. Oh, and the blade left behind. Look at the patience by Focus. Not sweating it. He knows the burrows and the base defense will hold. The blade master can still be active on the other side of the map. Can you imagine Focus to be hectic? Oh, he cool. Cucumber. Is he gonna find the second expansion? No way. Wow, dude, this Blade Master play is out of this world. Yeah, it's just a shop. But still, orbs prevented, stabs prevented, and of course, a success for his mind. Another shop coming up. Yeah, this this roaming Blade Master is, is oh something my God. else. He finds everything. Holy! Focus looking. Red Hulk. Nothing that Lawlight wants to do works out. We got a Wyvern in the mix. We got Shaman here against the Entangle, which is currently the strongest asset of Lawlight. Tier 3 around the corner. Acid Bomb, Focus Fire again. Purges, but the Alchemist shuts the door. Alright. Quite a few Grunt losses. Three Grunts total going down this game. But of course... The Wyvern, the Raiders, will be strong reinforcements. <sighs> Bouncing Glaives coming. If he can prevent some clarities, that would be nice, but he's exposing his back to a Wyvern Shadow Hunter. The Shadow Hunter level 1 is the liability. Yeah. Absolutely correct. Oh, come in. There's a bit of trouble here as well. Can the blade kill him, maybe? Uh, quick fingers, Everywhere. quick fingers, exactly, on the moon worlds. All right, I'd say the closest game so far. Yeah, I would still give the lead here certainly to focus, but if the light can creep more, if he gets a strong tier three army, lots of orbs, and focus doesn't counter it correctly, the counter to tier three is. 
Expand. Expand, get the second base rolling before the Nihilus has hit full strength. And then win with the Econ Advantage. Love the item on Lola, Devotion Aura. Fantastic. Ooh, Blade is here. He wants that moon. Well, it wasn't repaired. And he gets punished for it. Insane Blade Master right here, right? Focus. Absolutely. Absolutely tremendous. And now Shadowner is finally getting the levels. 2.6. After this turtle, he might even be 3, or at least very close. This Blade Mass is gonna be something, my dude. Plus 8 claws. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on top of, what is it, plus 8 agility or something? But okay, no TP. But there's a snake pit established. Only level one. A more defensive setup here. Alchemist being caught immediately. Blade Master is there. Not the craziest damage yet, but seems to be sufficient. Staff, ready. Alchemist survives. Interest is trying to make it away, but the purge is catching them. There goes one. Might be another. Expansion is coming in the face of Lawlight. Focus yeah. does not care. Yep. That's just this, this huge sign of confidence. I'll let you... I'll I'll show you my cards. It's all right. You can't deal with it anyway. And I think he's right. Lady Master's about to get to level 3. With that, finally the crit. And another nice big item here. Alchemist needs levels, man. And we need more orbs. That is abundantly clear. Blade with the claws. Wait, he didn't go crit <laughs> with these items. So, I thought you would be pleased about the mirror image. I mean, I love mirror image, but still, that is also kind of cool. Focus on the way to lower bracket round two. The match versus Kaho. The rematch versus Kaho. Lolite in the ropes. Needs miracles here. Expansion about to be established. Heroes all under fire. Trying to nuke the Wyvern and that works. Here comes the backstab with Wisps. Trying to get a lot of mana out of this orc army. Almost no piercing damage here for Focus actually. In fact, no Serpent Wards even at the moment. I just got a big army. He had a great early game. Focus with one hell of a performance today. What a swing back for Focus in this tournament. When he got manhandled by Lin in the upper bracket here in the lower, he is showing up in style against the Lawlight who isn't feeling himself today. Is there a chance for another acid bomb maybe to prepare another attack? Not really. 40 food the entire day. Trying to poke trying to get some damage in but it's also only one orb like this is not enough well i was trying to punish the level one serpent boards by going heavy on hunts and that can sometimes work but this game is just too far behind it seems like yeah with the orb of venom here putting in some decent damage finding some kills got the level four oh. on the keeper but after is caught Blade Master has an invul potion, Alchemist caught indeed, Staff's on cooldown, four points around. Focus is just not making any mistakes, he's not giving Lolliot an opening. And the expansion is running, he can sustain these trades, easy! And Lolliot in the long run cannot. Focus simply the better player today. Normally a 50-50 between them, today's encounter will go to the Orc. Father of two. Lolliot here staring down the barrel. We will see Lolliot again later today in the Back to Warcraft weekly, monthly final. We don't have an elegant name for it yet, but we're working on it. What do you mean? It's a great name. <laughs> yeah, you want to final? No laughing matter for Lolliot anywhere. 800 gold for focus soon. More upgrades now splitting into upgrades uh, in, in, in into upkeep. He was ready to close it out. He's knocking on the front door. Sees a lot of Panthers here on the Nidus side, which you would think is scary, but <laughs> turns out it's not that scary actually.
Where's the hope? Second orb. Maybe that helps. The block is working, but Grunt's too sturdy. Heal scroll now for focus as well. He couldn't afford a second one, but he could afford to build a big army. 65 supply. Oh, we got a He's witch doctor as well for sentries. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. That's seen by the owl though, I guess. A split attack on the left hand side must be Treants, I assume. So just a little chip damage, unlike the lava spawns before. We were almost able to take out an expansion. Looking for his opening. How can he possibly win this game? He's got tier three, but it's no bears, just hunts. And of, but hunts. And of course, there's a creep jack. Like focus is so ahead of Lawliot today. He's always there. Every single moment of this game, also on Turtle Rock, also on Concealed, just very, very well executed Blade Master play. Now. There's no mana anymore for mirror image. Is there a chance for a focus fire? Big armies on both sides. The tree and stone not doing much, getting purged all the time. Shaman have so much mana. Photo Beast giving good bonus damage and also finds a devour. Heal scrolls being used. Now we have none left. But the Shadow Hunter still has plenty of healing. Gets the level 4 as well. And everything is falling. Unfortunately, this is the end. Maybe Fortitude broke him yesterday on Turtle Rock when the Metamorph Demon Hunter was countered. Invo Potion say he's, he's stabbing against the defeat, but it's not that the longevity of this fight is in his favor. There's still a Mana Potion. There's still a Clarity. There's everything falling. The bottom with the Orb and the Aura is gone. GG. End of the road for Law Lion. But focus with the sick return after yesterday's uh, disaster versus Lin, and that means that the first two players eliminated from the playoffs are Fly and Lawlight. Alright.